picture i'm back again back in the same setting you know what time it is it's your boy jp jpsj you know the rest and today's video as i mentioned before as i promised in the last video is gonna be a top five most worn sneakers of 2020 my personal collection um the reason it's a top five and not a top 10 or top 20 is because i have a very limited um, rotation and again coronavirus not really getting a chance to put on different outfits or head out as much as i like to that's neither here or there we are here to look at some sneakers so i have here five sneakers that i've worn the most for this year um most of them have been bought this year actually four out of the four out of the five have been purchased this year so <laughs> That's where it tells you what you need to know. So I'm gonna go from can I go from least used or most used? What do you guys think? Least used. So my least used sneaker of 2020. Uh, not least used overall, but least used within the five that are here is has to be the Yeezy 350 um, Astro So here they are in hand. You guys already know what these are. I already did a review on them. They have no tags. They are like one of one because these all are hand knitted um, with the nice bronze goldish strap on the side. Love these, love to bring these to the gym. You can see it's pretty warm as you can see underneath. You can see the boost with the outsole. So, yeah, pretty dope sneaker. Uh, boost is life. Not much I can say about boost. That you have it heard already, that is. Um, the prime knit is really nice, really comfy on feet. Yeah, and it's half a size bigger. The only thing I don't like about them with being a half size bigger is when you're doing exercises like at the gym. Like for example, if you're doing push up, you need to be on your toes. And because they're half a size bigger, I usually get my sneakers snug. But you know, easier. Yeah, if you get them too snug, it's not good. So when you have them and you're on your toes, it kind of bends a bit. But that's not too anything too crazy. I just adjust my feet and it's good again. So not a big complaint or any any turn off or anything. But that's just the only downside i have with these but yeah these and i haven't changed the laces that you can tell i said i have the infinity loop i don't want to cut it but i don't see why so, yeah so these are my least used out of the top five maybe maybe 10 times i've worn them yet so far 10 15 times so second least hair i have to go with i bought these when did i buy these i bought these around the summertime and they were on sale i bought them for about 90 80 euros and those are ultra boost 19s in the green and gray colorway pretty dope i like the colorway of it pretty clean nice and classic i like the rib cage uh, for the laces and again this is ultra boost so that was boost this is ultra boost this is hella comfy um it has a cage here for support and to hold the boost together this hasn't uh these hasn't gotten the chance to come on the channel as yet so i think this is the first time you're seeing it has the boost insole pretty dope nicely stitched as you can see really rarely used uh, not rarely used but it's her it's back in the box let's put it that way i you i used it to go on a couple of jobs when i first got it and i did a couple of other um sporting activities gym and stuff then I just put them away for a bit, started using the Ultra, um, the Yeezys, and some other paint that I have. So, for my third least used worn sneakers, um, it's kind of a toss up between the next two, so they're really closely contested. I'm um, gonna have to go with the Young uh, 96s for these, from Adidas again. But these are not boost, these are my first. Oh, I only went to two, this is the third. So yeah, these are my first non-boost. This is um this is a torsion. Torsion um also, as you can see, a lot of grip. These are usually uh, mostly used in uh, Adidas's uh trekking lineup, I believe, to go hiking and stuff. So these are really good in traction. And I you can go running with them, they're really comfy as well. Not because they're not boost, don't think they're not comfy. These are hella comfy. Um, yeah, and I think they do have a, like a little hit of reflective around the side here and over here as well and also here But it's not like crazy like my uh, night jobs If you're on the Instagram page of this channel the sneakerhead721 you're gonna see the night joggers um, I still haven't done a review on them. Maybe I should 
But anyway, I like the material on this. It has a mesh upper here. You can literally hear it. Um, some suede on the top, on the toe area. Also on the heel side. Rubber midsole, track outsole. Yeah, pretty nice. And I like that. Yeah, just like it has a whole. I'm actually more sweet than I thought. And then you have the Adidas Trufoil logo in the back. Also on the tongue. And a plastic. Uh, yeah, like a plastic cover. Or something. I'm not sure actually what it is. Um, but yeah, pretty dope. Pretty comfy. Third least or third most. Well, actually, it's right down the middle. So yeah. <laughs> and now for my fourth most used. I get is it my second most used, my fourth least used of it. You know what I mean. <laughs> so my fourth most used sneaker. These have shown up on the channel. I believe they ranked in my top two favorite sneakers. So it's no surprise that they're here again. It is the street. So here they are, the black colorway. And the crazy thing is, the street ball are gonna appear again in one of my future videos. I'm not gonna give you which one it is. But they are gonna appear again on a other video. So, stay tuned. so you guys know everything about these. They are really sweet. I love them. I don't even think I ever wash these sneakers. That's to show you the quality of it and how stain or dirt resistant it is. That's why I love the all black. And yeah, these are just. And you can see the traction. I've used these a lot, and they are just not wearing out. I even took them to the gym, and my friend was surprised. He was like. What, what kind of shoe? Like, he was really impressed. Let me just say that way. Um, wanted to like what kind of shoes is? Why you bring it to the gym? Like these look really nice and whatnot. But yeah, I was just like, why not for that one time? It's actually a lifestyle sneaker, so not a performance sneaker. So I, although it is a street ball, so you would think it would be a, a, a performance to go play on the court with, but it's not. Which you can. It's your money. It's your, it's your product. But I don't because there's not much ankle support, and I don't really play basketball by the way. So. I'm a soccer player, football player, so um, yeah, no ankle support really. So I, I wouldn't really recommend it. it. Does have a little midsole support here? The heel counter down here is pretty nice and solid. Here it's just for comfort, and but it is pretty snug. So you could, if you want to, there is an elasticated. Um, I think I showed you guys this already in the previous video. So yeah, just go look for the review of these sneakers. But yeah, these are my second most worn sneakers for the year 2020 i got these i want to say early january i think january february this year i believe i got them and these the next pair that i'm about to show is of the a second was it a second i'm not sure if it's a second or third you guys could help me out in the comments but these are the ultra boost white on white i can't tell you if it's v2 or v3 but these are the white ultra boosts and i did not wash them just so you guys could tell <laughs> how much of wearage they've gotten uh, yeah so these i have had these for about four years now i believe so i think these are version two if not version one because they have different patterns but i've added we didn't have a chance to like look it up already um the sole is completely devastating i need to change the sole actually so these are the sole for them and just by the sole, you could tell these have been worn like crazy. It's the inside of it. So yeah, these are ridiculous. Worn. Um, yeah, and because they're white, like they're they really they're really clean on feet, especially when they're washed and like, properly taken care of. Like I do take care of my sneakers, don't get me wrong, but I just haven't had time to scrub these down or put them in the washing machine, pick up the laces, put them in a suitcase or a shoe bag. And do all the preparations, scrub it down first, and all that good stuff. Um, let me know if that's one of the sneak, uh, videos you'd be interested in. Uh, cleaning video, like cleaning your shoes or whatnot. But I've taken your time long enough, I'm trying to make those videos a bit shorter. So, those were my top five mostly worn sneakers. I had the Ultra Boost in there, I had the, I had two Ultra Boosts in there actually. So, this was the first one, and this was the 2019 Ultra Boost. Had the Yeezys in there, had the Young 16, uh, 96 in there, and I had the Street Balls in there. Let me know which one of them was your favorite um, of the, of the pack. I'm gonna be putting a picture on the Instagram page as well, so you can go on there and say which one you preferred out of the five. Um, so yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like, share.
Okay, thank you. Listen, my thing. Yeah, we have to make it happen. So if you ain't talking about money, dog, then you ain't talking about nah, damn thing. I, I, I got a headache thinking about this money all day. I hear voices in my head say, Bro, Charlie sent the 